A big investment we made in V4 was the ability to let developers extend existing Strapi applications with the use of the new plugin API. Unlike the V3 plugin API, which was built on top of file structures, we decided to take a more programmatic approach and centralize almost all plugin activity to two files, Strapi server and Strapi admin.js. So let's get into our terminal. We'll stop our Strapi server and we'll use the new interactive terminal with yarn Strapi generate to create a new Strapi plugin. We get the option to customize our Strapi app in a couple of ways. So we'll select plugin to create and generate a plugin. We'll name our plugin Hello V4. And that will generate the relevant files for us. In the CLI, we get asked to create a new file called plugin.js and paste the following in it. So what we'll do is we'll open VS Code, but before that, we'll just copy that and then get into VS Code. In config, we don't have the plugins.js file. So we'll create that plugins dot JS and paste in the snippet that we copied from the CLI. We'll save this and this registers our plugin into our Strapi application. Now, a few files were created when we generated our plugin. So we'll go into source, plugins, and we'll have our v4 folder. And these are the two files that I was talking about, Strapi admin.js and Strapi server.js. What we'll do now is go into server.js and open our bootstrap file so that we add a console log to see if our plugin is working. Console.log hello from oops hello from v4. Hello from v4. And we'll save that. So next time we start up our Strapi server, it should say hello from v4. So let's try that out. Best practice, by the way, is to start your Strapi server in watch mode so that all changes made reflect almost immediately. So yarn develop and we use the watch admin flag to start in watch mode. And there we see it. Hello from v4 and our server starts in watch mode. So our plugin has been registered. We'll be asked to enter our credentials. And we can log in now. We can see here that our Hello V4 app is registered in the admin. If it's not, you can use yarn build to rebuild the admin plugin so that your plugin shows up here. In the plugin section, we can see it's registered in the list of plugins and we have happy coding showing up. What we can do is go back to VS Code so we can actually customize what this page says. So, in our plugins folder, in our v4 folder, we go to admin, we go to pages, we go to home page, and we have admin. So here it says plugins and home page. We can change happy coding to hello from v4. And that should change to reflect our edit. And this is where the design system really shines. If you go into your VS code, you can add components from the Strapi design system to keep your app aesthetically the same and uniform with the rest of your Strapi application. And this way you can extend your Strapi application while keeping a very pleasant experience for the people using the Strapi admin. And that's it with building and getting started with Strapi v4 plugins API.